You okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, a lot of you guys uh, follow what's been going on in my life and Sophia's life. Um, everything that happened with my, uh, my ex-girlfriend. Um, it's been, it's been confusing and it's been, I would say, uh, hurtful for everybody really. Cause, um, um, everything happened so fast, unexpected and like feelings, I can't necessarily say changed, but there, there's definitely been, um, some, some things to figure out. So, uh, as you guys all know, um, my ex-girlfriend, Lisette, uh, we should, we should actually started our YouTube together as a, you know, as a couple having fun, doing challenges and our real fans, Diesel family, you guys know who the set is. Um, we broke up and it was kind of like the breakup was fast and, um, unexpected really. Nobody really seen it coming. Neither did I, neither did she, did she. One day we were just like, oh, you know, let's, uh. We were both like pretty mutual about it. We were both like, you know, let's just break up. And I kind of thought it was like an immature, fast decision. And then I was single and she was single. And I was pretty much just working with my friends, filming, um, hanging out a lot, going out a lot, um, trying to find myself really. And I did. And then later on down the road, I met Sophia. And, um, and everything was good in the beginning, like me and Sophia were, I mean, pretty much the whole time, um, I was happy, she was happy, you know, and there was nothing wrong, there was no flaws, you guys seen how happy we were, um, you know, and we, we really had like future plans, life plans about traveling the world, and um, let's vlog and show um, the Diesel family, our world travels, you know, we're, we were going to go visit every country in like in a year, one year. Um, and then we had like a few arguments, disagreements about small stuff. And then, um, you know, I did a couple of videos that got her mad um, with my best friend's girlfriend. Um, kind of like a, a long prank video where it was like pranking uh, Matt and and Sophia. She didn't take it well and she needed time to think uh, for herself. So during that time, I was thinking for myself and um, I, I kind of like found myself missing my ex-girlfriend. And I know that sounds crazy because I already knew that she was happy with her boyfriend in a whole different place. And I didn't want to be like, I miss you, come back to me and we break up your whole life. I didn't want to be that guy. But if my heart tells my mind that, you know, that's the girl that makes you happy, you go after the girl that makes you happy. I understand that Clearly, I'm, I'm hurting people. Lissette's hurting people. But do I just let it go? Do I just say, do I patch it up and say, you want to be with Lissette and just hide it? Or do I pursue it, even though her situation is complicated, my situation is complicated. Like, a month ago, we talked about getting married and having kids. And, um, you know, I don't know, I don't know what to say to make her feel better. I don't know what to say to make myself feel better. I just know that my heart's saying Nothing. that, my heart's saying mm -hmm. that, Lisette, I miss you, I wanna be with you. And you make me happy. I could say that confidently with my girlfriend next to me. And, well, Sophia next to me, I'm sorry. And it just feels like, I don't know, I, a lot of people watching the video are probably like thinking that, I'm not a good guy or I'm, I'm making a bad decision, but if you want to be with somebody, you go for it. You take a risk, you jump. 
and see what happens. It may not, it may be a no. I mean, but I have to tell the set how I feel. I had to tell Sophia how I feel about the set. Um, and I I think that the set feels the same way. Um, and I don't want to be that guy who says, you know, your boyfriend's not good for you. Uh, this is net. I'm the best. I'm just saying that I feel for the set, and I'm saying that that's that's what my heart says. So if I'm gonna be a liar, if I'm gonna hide it, and then stay with Sophia and I'm happy, mm -hmm. but I want to be with that girl over there, it's 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 hard to do that for your whole life. So when I'm taking vacations, I want to be with the set. I don't want to be with Sophia. It's, you guys get the point, but um, I wanted to make a video. Letting you guys know that, you know, obviously, um, me and Sophia share a YouTube channel, which is now the Diesel Family, um, that she won't be in my videos um, with me showing off our life, our vlog, our family, Harley, Sunny. And um, and us together. So it, it is confusing. It's confusing for me because I'm thinking like I would literally die for this girl. You know what I'm saying? And I love her to death. But my heart says that hey, the set made you happy. Go with the set. Is that wrong? Like, am I wrong for that? Like. Am I not? Am I supposed to just hide that piece of uh, in my heart and put it away, and then continue to love? So it's not fair for Sophia. So by me being honest, it, it is 100% good. It's not what she wants to hear. I promise you that. It's not even what I want to hear. But it's weird how I reached out to the set and she felt the same exact way. She was at my house within 48 hours. We were hanging out. Um. And. At this point, I'm, I'm letting so letting you guys have closure with Sophia. You know what I'm saying? Like, thank you guys for supporting us and her being great to Sophia. Because Sophia did nothing but love me, be there for me, um, be the best woman I've ever been with, hands down. Um, but like I said, like my heart tells me one thing, my mind tells me something else. I gotta follow my heart. So I want to give you time to say, to talk to them and say what you gotta say. I don't really know like what to say. It's just really hard not to like cry the whole time, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just really hard I don't because know. I just think about like I don't know like all, everything and all the good times and like. Or just think about how I feel about you and how like like our family was you know and I don't want it to end <laughs> but I can't like I can't I can't stand in your way you know I can't do anything about how you feel I just have to like be okay with it and I don't know <laughs> I just want you to be happy I guess well <laughs> It don't make me feel good by hurting you. You know what I'm saying? It. I didn't plan this. It's not a choice. It's just a feeling that happened, and and I and I I acted on it. And it's. I can't. I can't even say I'm wrong. Or I'm a bad guy because I I caught a feeling I didn't want to. I didn't want to catch a feeling. I didn't want to think about nothing. I didn't even know I would even care about my ex again. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that. I didn't know that I was I was gonna catch feelings for somebody else while I'm in love. I didn't I didn't know that could happen. I literally was the happiest guy in the world, and then you got mad at me. We took a couple, what, a 48 hour, 72 hour break, and I was like, I was I was sitting in my house and I was like, how come how come I'm not happy? Like, what's well, I wasn't happy at the time, and I, and I reached out to my ex girlfriend. And we were laughing and joking on the phone, and it made me like authentically happy. I didn't care about. The whole entire world was just like blocked out, and all I seen was was her. And I know that sounds 
really dumb, but and and unbelievable really, because you know Sophia makes me just as happy. It's just a different feeling. But when you're with somebody and you feel for somebody else, it's like if you're with if if you, it's not even about cheating because I didn't cheat. It's just more about me being an honest man saying, tell my girlfriend, look, there's somebody else and I didn't plan it. It's just, that's what my heart said. My heart's attracted over there. My mind just, my mind said, that's not, that's probably, not, that's not right. You're gonna hurt your girlfriend. But my heart said, you're attracted to that other heart and that heart attracted me and I'm attracted to her and her, her physical beauty. And there's a physical attraction, there's a, a heart attraction, there's, you know, and and that's where I'm at right now. So I'm 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 literally like I'm going to go get my ex girlfriend. I'm going to get her back. She left back to Pennsylvania with her boyfriend. Like I'm not sure if they went on the same plane, but she went back home in the East Coast to Pennsylvania. And I'm doing a video saying goodbye to my girlfriend. And I'm going to get. Let's set back. I'm going to fly over there to the East Coast, a five or six hour flight, and I'm going to get her and I'm going to bring her back because that's what I want to be with. And it's confusing, as complicated, as hurtful, as heartless and selfish that may sound. That's what my heart wants and that's what's going to happen. So I had to let you guys know, her know, and talk to you guys and basically say, this is what's going on, and I'm 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 sorry about everything that's happening. I'm I'm not a bad dude. She's not a bad woman. There's no bad blood. I have this feeling. I gotta pursue it. So the set. If you're watching this video, fans, friends, family, subscribers, anybody who cares, the set. I'm going to Pennsylvania right now. I'm gonna go book a flight right now. And I say that I don't I, I don't know. I'm being honest. Um, I'm gonna see if we can make things work and I'm gonna see if we're on the same page Which I think we are and hopefully we can get back together and I'm sorry to her boyfriend Conrad. I'm sorry to Sophia, but That's what has to happen. That's what's meant to be and and I know that I love Lisette. I know she loves me I know when she's with me. She's happy. She's smiling you guys seen it. I seen it you guys feel it I feel it so I can't lie. I can't lie I can't be with her and lie. I can't lie to my family anymore. I have to, it has to happen. So, you know, um, I just want you guys to, you know, not judge me for falling back in love with my ex. I don't know. I, don't forgive me. You can be mad at me if you want. But don't be mad at Sophia. She's nothing wrong. She's a great girlfriend. But anyways, I, I'm rambling now, but... Um, I wanted to get closure with Sophia, with me, and say that this is it. Um, Diso family, this is me and Sophia, and and that's it. So now I'm going to get Lisette, and I'm I'm sorry to everybody. I'm sorry to her. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sophia. I'm sorry to Lisette's boyfriend. I'm just I'm just I'm in a place where I got I got to get my my ex back because we're soulmates, and that's what has to happen. So. Um, I, I gotta go get it, so. I'm sorry. Alright. Oh no, I just have to like, let you go. Yeah. I'm sorry to you guys too. Sorry. <laughs>